All right, um, I think we should go ahead and get started for those people who are on time, okay? What kind of count do you have? 46. All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am Julie Brown, one of the counselors, and welcome to the Makeup Suicide Prevention Training. This morning, you have been invited because apparently if you did view the video during your 1A class, perhaps you did not submit the form uh, correctly or something happened in your submission of the form. But in any case, this suicide prevention training is mandated by the state of Kentucky. And so every student and every teacher, every person who works within the school system has to complete the training so that you're able to recognize the signs and symptoms of depression and suicidal ideation. So we will go ahead and uh, start the video. Uh, Mr. Robertson, Ben Robertson, one of the counselors is here. Mr. Robertson, would you say hello? You're muted. <laughs> hello students, how are you today? It's good to see you. And we also have Dr. Sarah Bumpus, who is working the technology end of it. So Dr. Bumpus, would you say hello? Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the video. Please watch the video. If you have any questions, you may enter them into the chat. And also there is a link. And this is very important students. I need you to click on the link for the student response form that is located in the chat following your watching of the video and complete the student response form. That allows us to count you as present. So if you fail to click submit, then I'll be calling you again to complete this training. So thank you very much. And Dr. Bumpus. Good morning. Today we're here to talk about mental wellness because you matter. The learning targets for today are learning what mental wellness is and how to improve your own mental wellness, identifying positive coping skills, and knowing how to get in touch with your school counselor. Also, you'll learn how to get help by calling the National Suicide Prevention Hotline number. Everyone deserves good mental health. Mental health is balance, the ability to manage stress, and achieve one's potential. Small improvements in nutrition, sleep, exercise, and coping skills can help us to better manage stress and achieve mental health. To learn about ways that you can contact your school counselor just in case you need help, all because you matter. Let's get real. Mental health is not always easy to talk about. Before we get started, it's important that we commit to have honest conversations, respect one another, we're open to learning new ways to take care of our mental health, honor our conversations that occur in class, no joking around or criticizing others. We are all in different spaces in our lives and handle stress differently. Remember to be respectful and thoughtful. It is okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to be less than perfect. Just be kind to yourself. It's okay not to be okay sometimes. We tend to give an image that everything in our lives is perfect. We have a perfect life, family, social life, and we wake up looking amazing. Real talk, you are enough and you do not have to be perfect. How does having a perfect image impact our lives and the people around us? What type of stress comes with being perfect? And do you think that pressure influences whether or not people ask for help? How does social media play into all this? What are some strategies that you use to remind yourself that what appears on social media is not reality? What is mental wellness? Mental wellness is the ability to adapt to changes, deal with trauma, and bounce back from stressors in your life. Life happens and we all have ups and downs that we have to learn to manage. Mental wellness is just as important as physical wellness. Real talk, 
we have to invest in and be dedicated to improving our own mental wellness. What are some ways you can improve your mental wellness? Learn positive coping skills for stress, understand mind-body wellness, communicate openly and often, and mindfulness. Let's pause and reflect. How are you doing? No, how are you really doing? It is okay not to be okay and ask for help because you matter. Getting in touch with your school counselor. You are not alone. This slide gives contact information for your school counselor who is available to schedule a virtual appointment with you Monday through Fridays between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. You may take a picture of this slide. Positive coping skills. What can you do when things get tough? How do you work on your mental wellness? You do you. Find healthy creative outlets that you enjoy, such as listening to music, creating music, drawing, writing, dancing, running. Get up, get out and move. Being physically active has a huge positive impact on our mental wellness. Being outside with fresh air and sunshine gives us an instant boost of serotonin which improves your mood and gives you a sense of calm. Communicate openly and often. We are stronger together. Talk about the ups and downs in life to a trusted mentor or adult. That can help us to stay connected and it helps us to get through life together. Positive friendships, we all need them. Find friends that you can connect with and that encourage you and lift you up. You don't have to have dozens of them, Find one or two people that you can depend on. Getting involved in groups at school or in the community can be a great way to meet friends that share the same interests. Mindfulness, breathing exercises, meditation, and positive visualization. Mindfulness is a powerful way to handle stress. It is about finding your calm and being in the here and now. Check out these apps and websites. Here are some additional ways for you to get involved and make a difference. Find ways to support one another. Your voice matters. Oftentimes, there is a stigma attached or associated with mental illness or depression. How can we break the stigma? Recognizing when you need help. Sometimes, even after all the strategies we just learned about, there will be times when you just need to talk to a trusted adult to get help. That's okay. We have all been there. If you find yourself no longer interested in things that were once important, isolating yourself from family and friends, emotionally distressed or sad for an extended period of time, engaging in risky behavior, using illegal substances, fixated on death or dying, feeling hopeless about your future. Please seek help. Remember, you are not alone. If you need help, reach out to a trusted adult. You do not have to go through hard times by yourself. Some people right here are listed uh, that can help you, a parent, a family member, your school counselor, a teacher, coach, a pastor, any adult at school, because you matter. This slide gives you information about the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. You may take a picture of this slide with your phone. At the end of this training, you will be asked to complete a student response card. Please be honest. We need to know if you need help. And we are here to help you because you matter. Every student is required to complete the student response card and your teacher will provide you with the link. Thank you for listening. Thank you everyone for uh, listening to the video 
And as I mentioned before, the student response form link is shared already in the chat room. Please click on the link and complete the questions. Mr. Robertson, were you saying something? No, oh, ma'am. Um, the link is in both the comments section underneath the video, as well as in the chat. You should be able to click either one to fill out your response, and then we'll support you as needed. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.